So, uh, Leon, I'm going to start with our first question uh, from Reed Wilkins at Chad Radio. Um, what have you been doing to stay in shape during the shutdown? And have you had, have done anything creative uh, with your workouts uh, because of what's going on? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're obviously a little bit limited, but um, I have a, a gym in my house here in Edmonton. And um, so, yeah, try to do uh, something different every day. Try to stay fit um stay in shape uh so yeah go for runs do stairs all, all kinds of different stuff uh, mark specter from sportsnet.ca player plays his whole life to enjoy the type of season that you've been having this season um now maybe not maybe no playoffs maybe no individual awards is it disappointing for you uh, I mean, obviously we don't know yet what, what's going to happen. So I think there's still some, some talking, uh, left to do in, in, in all the professional leagues. But, um, you know, I think that that goes for everyone playing the game. Um, if, if we don't get to play the playoffs, um, you know, obviously it's, it's frustrating. Um, but again, like, like we all said, I think the health of, of people, at this time is, is more important. So I think they, they made the right decision so far. And um, yeah, hopefully, uh, I think I'm speaking for everyone. Hopefully we, we can return to, to playing again, but uh, obviously that's, that's not uh, necessarily up to us. Okay, Leon, um, a reminder, I think uh, on camera, everybody's seeing, could you tell people what you have in your hands, those little balls? People are asking what those <laughs> are. <laughs> Stress balls. <laughs> no, uh, I'm just just playing around with these little little things here. Um, another question for Mark Spector. Uh, fans in Edmonton have been uh, have been waiting for a, a a team or a season like this year with the team gelling. Uh, what would you say to the fans as far as with the uncertainty I've had ahead and um, not knowing what's about to happen? Yeah, just. Stay positive, stick with it, just like, just like we are. You know, obviously, like I said before, we all want to play. We all want to get back to playing as soon as possible. But um, right now, there's, there's more important things in the world going on, and, and we have to accept that. And, and, um, but, yeah, uh, hopefully we can all, we can all get back to, to playing soon and, um, yeah, you know, bring this, bring this into the playoffs. Is there is there anything we talked earlier about conditioning? But is there anything as far as uh, oh, this would be a question from Ryan Rashog from TSN. Anything you're doing to keep your hockey skills sharp? Any handling pucks or shooting that kind of stuff? Yeah, I try to I try to dangle around my dog once in a while with um, with my stick. I have a stick in my basement, but other than that, there's not much um, not much opportunity for me to to yeah work on my skills or anything like that. Another question from Ryan Rashog. Um, we've heard before that Friends is your favorite TV show. Are there any other shows that you're watching a lot right now? Maybe two other shows that round out your top three? Uh, yeah, one show that uh, I've been watching a lot is uh, This Is Us. Um, and, God, I got a lot of time to watch movies and, and uh, shows right now. So uh, I feel like I've, I've watched pretty much everything. A uh, question from Tim Campbell, NHL.com. Um, a question you may have heard earlier asked to Connor. Um, if you had to be quarantined with one teammate over the next 14 days, who would it be? And who would you not prefer that to be? <laughs> oh, my. Uh, oh. Oh, that's a tough one. It's very tough. Uh, I think one guy that would be really funny to um be quarantined with might be cast i feel like he doesn't need much to to make you laugh out of um out of nothing so but there's lots of guys that would be fun to be around a uh, question from uh, rob tichkowski post media uh germany has had a lot of um Kenora virus cases um and uh, just wondering that's your home country um 
what's your level of concern and how are your uh, family and friends doing uh, in Germany? Yeah, I, it's obviously concerning, no question, but over the world, not just in Germany, um, you know, it's concerning here too. So, um, but yeah, my, my family is doing what they're supposed to do. They're staying in, uh, so far everyone's healthy. Um, obviously I hope that it stays that way back home and, um, yeah, you know, they're, they're, like I said, they're doing what they're supposed to do right now. Uh, again, from uh, Rob Tichkowski, Post Media, did you give any thought to uh, going home or, or even to bringing people over, uh, over to Canada from Germany? Hang on one second. If we'll play again or not. Um, so I, I thought about it, but... Uh, it sorry, Leon. Hard. Leon, we had a technical issue. If you could just uh, start over again. Any thought to going to Germany? And when I say technical issue, I hit the wrong button. And okay. you did you. Um, did you have any plans to go back to Germany? Or did you think of bringing anybody? Uh, yeah, it, it definitely crossed, crossed my mind. But um, I don't think it makes much sense for me to go there right now. You know, especially since it's, uh, it's probably uh, worse over there than it is here. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I thought about it, but, uh, you know, I think I'm in a good place here right now. And, um, yeah, so just made the decision to stay. A uh, question from uh, Quinn Phillips from uh, Global TV. Have you picked up any new hobbies uh, to fill the time? Yeah, puzzles. Lots of puzzles. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just trying to do whatever, whatever we can at home to... Um, yeah, stay entertained. Uh, so, yeah, that that kind of stuff puzzles. A uh, lot of lot of time with the dog as well. Um, anything we've talked about, uh, we've done to stay in shape physically, hockey skills, what you're doing. What what about mentally? I think a lot of people out there are having the same thing of being quarantined. Um, are you doing anything uh, special to keep yourself uh, mentally ready uh, for when the season will uh, start again? Well, I don't think it's too hard to stay mentally. I mean, obviously, it's not it's not ideal right now. It's not an ideal situation for for any of the players. But um, I think once once a decision is made, there's some clarity. And um, you know, if it is hopefully you know going back to playing, uh, then it'll be very exciting. Uh, everyone will will uh, will be um, yeah fired up to to play again. Um, uh, another going back question from Rob Tichkowski. How confident are you that there's going to be a season and playoffs this year? How are, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, it's, it's tough for me to, to say something. I mean, I, I, obviously we, we get updates and, and that kind of stuff, but, um, you know, there's right now there's, there's not really much for us, you know, to know, I think so. Like I said, I think we all hope that we're going to get back to playing as soon as possible. But, um, yeah, you, you never know what's, what's going to happen. Uh, another question from uh, Min Dariwal from uh, CBC. Uh, just wondering from, uh, obviously, it's been this worldwide thing that everybody's dealing with. From your standpoint, has it given you a different perspective on things, on, on whatever, whether it be hockey or life or anything uh, that it's made you sort of uh, think about? Yeah, I mean, I think it teaches us a, a little lesson. I mean, um, you know, you think about how many things you touch, how many germs are, uh, you know, being spread all over. And um, I think, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's obviously, uh, it's, it's tough that people people pass away and, and it sucks that that part that that has to be a part of it. But at the same time, I think it's, it's good for us that, um, you know, we, we, we see what, what the world can do if, if we're not treating it the right way. So, um, yeah, obviously right now it's, it's a tough time, but, um, yeah, I think it's, it's, uh, on one hand, it, it, it might be, might be good for us. 
Uh, another question from Mark Spector. Just wondering, what what is your preference as far as uh, when we do return from this, um, right to the playoffs, a little preseason, finish off the regular season? Do you have a preference of what that would look like? Uh, no, I can't tell you that I have a preference, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I'm just, you know, hoping and, and, and looking forward to, to playing again and, and whatever, um, you know, format they'll come up with, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be happy with that. A uh, question from Kate Patterson, Oilers TV. Hockey players love routines. Um, wondering just how it's been to adjust without that sort of uh, game day routine to stay ready uh, when the time comes to come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that might be, might be the hardest part about it. Um, you know, the game day routines, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I think we all, we all miss it. Um, that's, that's the fun part. And um, yeah, we're, we're all sitting here patiently waiting, waiting to, uh, yeah, waiting to, to start, start uh, playing again. And then uh, maybe one final question, Reed Wilkins. Just wondering if you've had, uh, you've seen any of the old Oilers games that have been on TV. A lot of us are spending a lot of time on TV and they are showing old uh, games. Have you had a chance to see any of the old games? And if you did, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've watched a few of them uh, sitting on the couch. Uh, uh, I've watched the, I think, game five against San Jose a couple of years ago. And yeah, I, I, it's it's a little bit of a tease, I have to say. You know, you you start you start to miss it even more. So um, you know, sometimes it's it's better watching Friends than hockey. <laughs> well, I, I'd like to thank you, Leon, for uh, being part of this. Uh, thank to all the members of the media who have joined us, and um, hope everyone's uh, safe and uh, their families. Uh, everybody's doing well. So thanks again, Leon, and yeah, uh, no problem. Problem. yeah. stay safe.